First thing to say is this is not my fault. <laughs> we seem to be driving down a closed motorway. I'll get to what we're doing today in a minute, but back there, the motorway sort of split and it said something about what well, I thought it said to go this way. <laughs> we're now on the hard shoulder on a closed motorway, just cruising along. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, if we ever get out of this situation, the other day, I had a mate of mine come back from India, right? And he told me that the Indian food in India is a million times better than the Indian food that you get over here. So I had a plan. <laughs> I love curry. <laughs> but no, well, what I thought I'd do is I'd translate that idea mm -hmm. of getting better food in the country. And I thought we would go and try a Belgian waffle mm -hmm. in Belgium. Oh <laughs> I love waffles. So we're heading down towards the boat Station. Boat station. Oh, are we ever gonna make it to Belgium? Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> We've somehow made it. Well, actually, I'll say that we haven't made it at all. The time is now ten past two, and as we are coming into Dover, what did we see out in the ocean? Our ship <laughs> sailing off into the distance. But hopefully, they're gonna let us on the next one. Do you have to? Yes. Don't fiddle dodgy seagulls. Why is there a page missing from my passport? DFDS. DFDS. Oh, we've overtaken that geezer. Sorry, mate. Is he going to crash into my motor? What are you doing? I've got a feeling this bit's going to go wrong. I mean, not only have we missed the boat. <laughs> I still haven't been to the toilet yet. And I've registered the trip as a van, not a camper. So if they look in the back, there might be a bit of trouble. Well, at the end of the day, it is a van. It's just, I've chucked a cooker in there. Yeah. And a sofa. Yeah. 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 Oh, you can change it, can you? Yeah, do it live, yeah. <laughs> do what we want. <laughs> nice. No, we're, we definitely want to go Dunkirk, but it's good to know that you're quite lenient then. 42, yeah? Sweet. Thank you, mate. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I said to the geezer, that we missed our boat and can we get on the next one? He goes, yeah, do what you like. Go on any sailing you like. He goes, you can even go somewhere else in France if you want. <laughs> when the old Bill was, I thought she was going to go, what's the purpose of your stay? <laughs> Just going to taste a waffle. There's 43. There's 42. Where? <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? Just wait here? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Until but what? Until the boat comes to pick us up. What, from our exact spot? They're going to come personally escort us on? No, we have to drive up the ramp onto the boat. <sighs> Right, job done. We've got 40 minutes. I was just filming, trying to get a nice clip of the uh, van, and I noticed the wheel cap is no longer there. This is what it's supposed to have on it. And the other day, somebody smashed this and just drove off. Look what I have found. Right, Becky, it's your lucky day. Through the loop. Good girl. Up the ramp. Good girl, jump the thing. Yeah, good girl, good girl. Cheers, mate. Now, let's not go into the lane for lorries. <laughs> no. Well, what do you think of my vessel? It's a very good vessel. Do we have to stop here? I don't know. Were we stopping it? No. Right, okay. He literally looked like he was yeah. about to give us a good hiding. <laughs> God, he's dressed yeah. beautifully. <laughs> Lovely. Love your hat. I did ask the woman for no cream, but she assured me. That's the experience. Yeah. And she was correct. What an experience this is. Delicious. So there's a reason why I decided to be a little bit more adventurous today, instead of the usual parking up in Asda. And that is because this channel is now one year old, officially today. Happy birthday. And in this year, <laughs> thank you. But in this year, we've done so well. 29,000 subscribers. So I just want to say a massive thank you. Here's to the next year and the adventures that we get to have. Yeah. Right, that is the UK. Nice, clear skies. It's actually been really nice weather. And where we're heading, the clouds are picking up, and all of a sudden, doom and destruction. What a delightful boat ride. It was the first time I've ever eaten fish whilst floating on their house. Yeah, first time I've ever eaten beef whilst on their house. For all the sea cows. Oh yes, the sows. Sows! Right, I need to concentrate on driving on the correct side of the road. I think we're not too far from Belgium. We're in Dunkirk, but I don't know where that is. So, let's go find some food. 
Well, hold on, or down here maybe. Uh, no, no, it's on feet. And then in here maybe. Yes, look yeah. at us go. We've located a shop. What's it called? It's called oh, it's a casino. Vival Casino. No, it's not a casino, sweet. <laughs> what do you reckon the crime rate is like? I was going to say crime rate. Crime rate. Uh, I mean, can we leave the cameras on the windscreen? I don't know. I don't know what country you're in. Belgium or France? I don't know. Hey Siri, what country are we in? You're at 14 place desert Christian Easter's Cadogan branch. That doesn't help. Oh, it says France on the screen. How are we supposed to know where any of this says? Ten necks. Do you want a neck? No, thank you. She's that. Nice. Swassy son. American sandwich nature. That's what I've always wanted. I reckon this might be the one. Ray three. Pork's fromage. Three fromage. Three cheese. Bacon fume. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it. I reckon. It's got a cow print on it. Of course it's milk. No. Oh, we've already got food. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately for us, we are spoilt for choice for park ups tonight. We've had a look on park for night and they are everywhere. <laughs> so we've picked one at random and we're gonna head there now. Apparently there's a windmill. A windmill? A windmill? A windmill? A windmill? Go. Debakarata Strat 7. We have been driving down some long straight road for ages and there's canals either side. Really nice actually. It says Look there on the left, do you reckon it's in this little woodland bit? Maybe. Throw a left in there. Is this someone's house? Oh no, this is it, isn't it? I can't see a windmill. Yeah, I don't see any windmill. Ah, oh, we've been conned. Maybe it's a model. The destination is on your left. Seven. The ground's a little muddy out here, but it's quite solid. I think we're alright. We're literally in this just completely empty little grassy car park. What do you think, Toria? I what's, love it. What's the ground structure like? A bit moist. A bit hard. Is it to your liking? Wait, is this super bright in your eyes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but so is everything with these magnifying glasses on. Yeah, I think it's good. We're going to have to shift some of this gear into the front. As you might have noticed, I am once again wearing Ads Ventures hoodie. The last one was a hoodie that I didn't want to sell because it wasn't good enough this is one of the final products i love the color it's like a mint green is it i'm <laughs> color blind it's not really mm, i wouldn't say mint no well it was called peppermint when i bought it yeah it's more peppermint than mint oh is there a difference peppermint has slightly more blue in it aren't mints white but the mint plant is green oh yeah anyway <laughs> so this is the main hoodie i've got it is embroidered with high quality detail. I didn't go for none of that cheap printing malarkey. It's got drawstrings. It's a... got drawstrings <laughs> and a hood. Hood. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> but also, I wanted to go above and beyond. I've been looking for an ultra premium hoodie. Most people sell premium hoodies and they're just a little bit thicker, but I wanted proper quality. So I'm not joking, I ordered 21 different hoodies from different brands around the world, and then I finally found the one. In fact, I've got one in here. Lift up, Victoria. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Oh. <gasps> look at the drawstring. Oh my gosh, the drawstring on that. <laughs> <laughs> so they've got ultra thick padded out drawstrings, metal tips, metal eyelets, the same high quality embroidery, and they're super thick. These are the nuts. You're not going to find other YouTubers with these, I'm telling you. I these are the one be your but these are also just as good but just slightly cheaper for me to buy in so this is a different logo obviously we've got a signature logo rocking on the hoodies the hats have got a simple av logo so go check out the website for the merch for this evening's cuisine i can offer you the finest toasties yay toasties and then we're going to drizzle an aptamil <laughs> over the top can you say them correctly if i hear you say it wrong one more time what is it oh it's not a p it's a C. It is a C. I never knew that. Aptamel is the type of baby milk. So oh, I thought it was the same thing. I thought you just shoved these down the sprog's neck. No. I think these might be going out of date at midnight. Oh no, what happens in France? Do the moulds know that it's like a different time zone? Is it going to get mouldy at 11pm? I don't mind drinking them after the moulds. No, no, you can't do that. Olivia, 
that on. I like my toasties medium rare. Flipper. Oh, I think she's getting a bit overdone. Almost. What does the cheese compare like? Is that a real sentence? What does cheese compare to like? <laughs> English fromage. That was really hot. Oh. <laughs> I almost died. So not good, <laughs> is what you're saying. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> that is the two. Now it's good, but... Jesus! <laughs> oh no, it's a bitey one. It's a French bitey one. <laughs> Get out of the house! You bastard! <laughs> I'm gonna choke on my <laughs> Where's it gone? Mmm! <laughs> <laughs> mm, homie! <laughs> As I was saying before we got rudely interrupted by that critter, <laughs> the salami and the cheese is good. Mm. The bread tastes like sweet and nutty and like brick. Mm. It's like brioche bread, but not, yeah, not yeah. brioche bread. It's just like the brie, but without the osh. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ah! It's a bit hard to show people what it's like around here. <laughs> But it's basically just one massive long road. Oh, Becky nearly fell in a stream. <laughs> so there's a road. There is the jelly bean in the background. And there is another road. Oh, Becky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been two months since you've been in here. So long. Did we ever figure out what country we're in? Oh, you yeah, know, we crossed Belgium. the border. Yeah. We did cross the border. So you're in someone's house there, and someone's house next door is in the next country. Do they speak different languages? Probably. That's mental. <laughs> <laughs> the postman's... What's, what's hello in German? Hello! <laughs> I don't know much German. We'll just say it's hello. I know Milch. Probably said right, that wrong. So let's say the postman's knocking about down the road, right? He's in the French side. Bonjour. Au revoir. And then he crosses the road. Hello, Faramin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was excessive, right, with my iPhone lead. It's quite a long one. Actually, no, it's not. It's, it's fine, this one. But yeah. it goes in there, it reaches across the bed. <laughs> Go on, Becky. Show me a long one. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I didn't realise it was going to be this long, but I just assumed, oh, it's not that How long. How long is it? A kilometre? It's like two metres, maybe. No, nah, it's more than that. No, that's more than two metres. <laughs> Look at it. Hey, Siri. <coughs> She's such an idiot. She always embarrasses me in front of my friends. Uh, do you know what chillblains are? I've heard of them, yeah. Yeah, thank you. It's that geezer who locks himself in glass boxes and hangs above the Thames, isn't it? <laughs> that's David Blaine. Oh. <laughs> It's when David Blaine gets well out of hand <laughs> yeah. and you have to go, chill, Blaine. Chill, Blaine, chill. <laughs> okay. Nicely done, Adham. Thank you. <laughs> I need to find somewhere to park up. Right. I'm going to drive up to the top of this hill because it's got a sort of little park. <laughs> Victorioso. Good morning. That's the first time I've ever been woken up by a massive cockerel. There was no time today to make a coffee in the van like I normally do because... Like who normally does? Well, you haven't been with me for the last six videos, so I officially <laughs> claim that I normally do. <laughs> but no, we're going to, I believe you pronounce it, Bruges. No, it's Bruges. Oh yeah, Bruges. We're going to Bruges to find the waffle of dreams and a coffee. And look at the beautiful city of Bruges. How did you sleep? Uh, I slept like a baby. Well, as you were always. crying all night. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I slept really well. Nice and warm. We located the windmill. You will be pleased to know. It was just behind the tree line. It's a lovely location around here. So pretty. They're literally... Have you heard a single car? No. I haven't heard a single anything. It's really peaceful. Really nice weather this morning as well, which we've been lucky about. It's about five degrees outside, so it's a bit cold. The sun's out though, it's beautiful. According to the navigational system, we've got about a 40 minute drive to get to Bruges. Bruges. So I'm in a good mood today. Me too. I haven't been woken up by that cockerel as 
really done me wonders. I've never been up this early. We are in Bruges. We've been driving around these little streets trying to navigate the madness. It is quite mad driving around here. I mean, most of it's fine. But there are some little streets where people just do not follow the rules. Is there even rules? Who knows? God knows. Right, well, look, this is where it says we can park. Oh, there's no spaces. Oh. That geezer's just taken one. We're just going to have to find a side road and park up and hope this is a crime-free area. 15 minute walk. Is that too far? No, that's all right. No, we want to wonder. Oh, look, look, look. Can we I get love the walking. Here? Yes, we can. Oh, yes. Slide a rod in. So what do you reckon's going on with like paying for parking around here? Ah, everything in Belgium's free. Oh, right, sweet. <laughs> Don't stop. Victoria is in charge of leading the way. You might have noticed I've got my premium hoodie on today. Becky's got her trousers. Becky's just pointed out that the hood on this, the premium hood, inside, I don't know if you can see that, is called Waffle Stitch. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. We seem to have located a Waffle House. Not the Waffle House. Not the Waffle House we want, but it looks all right. I don't know, should Very we try Very small. It? Let's go to the other one and compare. <gasps> it's so fluffy. <laughs> if anyone looks at me, they're gonna think I'm just filming a complete stranger walking through the town. We seem to be in like the center. I guess this is the center. It looks pretty central to me. I think so too. Very busy. It's quite nice. I actually really like this place. It's kind of like Amsterdam, except you don't feel like you're going to get robbed at any moment. <laughs> Who likes Becky and her giant cockerel? Looks like we found it. This is the one. The smell. <clears throat> Time. Well, Victoria, Ugh. was that worth the f I've spent on this trip? <laughs> yes, it was. Honestly, that is the mm. best, not even the best waffle I've ever had, probably the best dessert I've ever had oh, yeah. in my life. That was the, the one. one. It was about a 15 minute queue to get in there, but well worth the wait. I highly recommend it. What was it called? Waffle House of House. Waffles. The House of Waffles. Yeah. We ordered a couple of Classicos. We had to go for the classics. And yeah, well worth it. I want to go back and try them all, but unfortunately, we don't have time. I think that's about it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a lot of fun. We have indeed. A lovely waffles. Lovely waffles, good coffee. Right now, I think we're gonna take a wander through Bruges, see what the sights are saying, and more importantly, try and find where the hell we parked the van. <laughs> but as always, thank you to absolutely everybody who's donated to the channel by buying me a brain cell through the link in the description. And don't forget, there will also be a link down below for the new merch.